I've got uh, my plywood uh, gear patterns from SketchUp. Uh, I'm using quarter inch plywood, carpet or double sided tape in the center. Got the patterns on there. And now we'll proceed to cut them out with bandsaw. Alright, I'll uh, continue to cut these out off camera, and then what I'm going to do is drill an eighth inch hole through the center. Okay, that looks pretty good. Next we'll uh, drill an eighth inch hole through these. And a little sanding and uh, they'll be uh, ready to use. Okay, we got them sanded up now, and uh, got them on a test fixture, and they seem to go pretty good. Uh, we've got two inches, two inches between these, which is correct. This one's a half, this one's a one and a half. So now it's on to the next step. Okay, I've got a uh, couple of pieces of brass tubing here. Uh, this one's big one is uh, 316 
and the small one is 5 30 seconds so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the uh, 5 30 seconds one through the two idler gears and I'll use the 3 16 to go into the to the frame uh, as a bushing now the uh, the driver gear we have to have a larger hole in there to connect to the uh, electric screwdriver cordless screwdriver and the uh, output shaft I'm not sure yet that'll probably be about a quarter inch okay I got a few changes here uh, instead of using the bushings and all that I think I'm just going to use uh, dowels through the center quarter inch dowel uh, this is just a prototype anyway so uh, if I build another one I'll use the bushings and all that so what I did is I took the uh, the side off the uh, marble lift here uh, double sided taped two pieces of uh, five and a half inch long three and a half inch wide quarter inch plywood together and then I taped that side on here that will give me a guide for drilling these holes uh, and I separated the gears and they run pretty smooth so I'll be drilling these uh, holes here out to quarter inch and uh, we'll start with drilling the 3 16 holes in the corners for alignment and I'll drill this one out this is uh, just over a quarter inch next size up and uh, then we'll go from there Okay, now I can uh, remove this three and a half inch square piece and I'll leave these two here taped together so I can uh, drill the other hole to align the gears. Put that in there and this will go in here and then we'll drill a, a hole here. Now with the holes drilled in these two side plates uh, I can put the gears on and uh, that's how they'll turn I want it a little tighter in there but <clears throat> I think this will work there's a little backlash <coughs> but that doesn't matter it's only going to be turning in one direction anyway okay now that that'll reduce the uh, speed by a third now this little one will go on here and then the bigger one will go on here and uh, These two here will be glued together. And then the input gear is here, and then uh, th these will uh, be allowed to rotate independently, these two. Now I've got it uh, semi put together. Uh, if I turn this small gear here on the right back here, it's turning this larger gear. Now these two here are connected together. They're glued together. Then this one will drive this big one. 
and thus turning the shaft. Now we'll have a look at the uh, the output here and you'll notice that uh, the marble pickup here is turning quite a bit slower than what I'm turning this. Now let's see uh, if I can uh, aim it in here and run it under power. It won't run that fast, though. I suspect it'll probably be running about like so. Thank you. I hope you like it. And we'll continue on with the next video. Please feel free to click the like button below and subscribe. Thank you.